we finally made it to probably one of the most beautiful towns I have seen in all of Albania. And that's saying a lot because I've seen a lot of beautiful towns in Albania. But welcome to the town of Kruje. Good morning guys, hope you're having an amazing day. It is Ping here from the beautiful city of Vlore, Albania. Now if you saw my previous video, we ended our tour of Albania so far here in Vlore. And the original plan was we're gonna stay an extra day to go on a boat tour along the ocean um, here in Vlore. But as you can see from the sky, it's a bit cloudy and it's expected to thunderstorm in a bit which isn't the ideal condition to go on a tiny little speedboat into the ocean. So instead of staying here for an extra day here in Vlore, because of the weather conditions, uh, it doesn't really make sense for us to stay here if there is no boat tour we can do because the weather is bad and a lot of the boats have been canceled. So instead, what we're gonna do is we are going to leave Vlore and we're gonna go to another town uh, just spontaneously here in Albania. We'll stay there for one more night um, because there's no point in staying in Vlode, you know, if all the boats are cancelled, if all the ships are cancelled, and if there's an 80% chance of a thunderstorm, then there's literally no point in us staying. So, let's go ahead, get ready, get packed, and uh, let's see if we can get a bus that goes out of the city of Vlode. Alright. Just got onto the bus, two more hours, and we should be in the capital city of Tehran. Well, we have officially made it to the Tehran bus station. You can see that right behind me here. But as you can see, it's cloudy, it's raining, the thunderstorm has rolled in. I have not seen rain in Albania before, but this is interesting, which makes it a great decision not to have gone out into the ocean to do a boat tour in Vlore, because this weather and rain, miserable. But we've got on a bus, this is the green bus that we're going, and we're taking it to our next destination here in Albania, so let's go ahead and get off. Well, after another hour-long bus ride from the center of, or not the center, but the bus station in Tirana, we finally made it to probably one of the most beautiful towns I have seen in all of Albania. And that's saying a lot because I've seen a lot of beautiful towns in Albania, but welcome to the town of Kruje. Now, Kruje is known for a number of things. It's famous for its castle, its cobblestone streets, it's famous for its bazaar, but it's a traditional Albanian medieval style town. And I'm really glad that we're spending our last day here in Albania, here in this town, because it is full of so much history, so much artwork, so much culture, and it's sort of that like perfect thing to bring it all together. There's also this massive mountain range that's just right behind me, um, and that is beautiful as well. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go down, we're gonna get a little bit of food because we've just made it all the way from Vlore to Tirana and then Tirana to here, so we need a little bit of a break. So let's go get some food. There's a really interesting bakery. I will show you why that bakery is so interesting in a little bit. And then I think we're gonna take it up to the hotel room and we're just gonna sit here and eat a little bit before we start our day and explore the town of Kruje, which in my opinion, I mean, look at that view. That's one of the most beautiful views I've ever seen in Albania. My umbrella is not very strong. Well, I hope you guys saw that adventure because it is raining really, really strong. The reason I had to go out and get food is because there is a bakery and the name is the George W. Bush Bakery. So um, they even had photos of George Bush coming here. So 
I'm assuming that's why it's named George W. Bush Bakery, but really, really interesting. They've got some like cakes and donuts and stuff. We got hot dogs and some cakes and stuff, but it's raining like this. There's no way we're gonna be exploring Korea today. So I'm just gonna be sort of enjoying the food here and then we'll see. Maybe we'll do something later, maybe not. But uh, we're just gonna enjoy our time here in Korea, relaxed and chill because we can't really do anything. The rain has completely stopped us from exploring this beautiful town. Well, after a three hour wait period in the hotel room, the sun is out and it's no longer raining. We don't have clouds covering this entire view here. So I think what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take advantage of this good weather and see what we can explore in the town of Kruj. We're just gonna go up a little bit. By the way, it's called Kruje, not Kruj. So every time I say Kruj, please, you know, correct me. It's Kruje. We're gonna go ahead and walk a little bit among, you know, the little buildings and the towns, see what there is to see. I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and explore this town. First stop of the day here in Kruje is this statue right here. This is the statue of Skanderbeg. Now, if you remember, the main square in Tirana is called Skanderbeg Square. So you might be asking, why is Skanderbeg here? Well, apparently there's some connection between Skanderbeg and the castle of Kruje and this town of Kruje. And Skanderbeg is a really important symbol. He's a symbol of resistance and unity. And he's a very important figure in Albanian history. In fact, he's well known even in Italy and other countries in Europe for his resistance. Uh, apparently, according to a sign here, Antonio Vivaldi even composed an opera for Skanderbeg, Mr. Skanderbeg right here. But this right here is the first statue of him on top of a horse. So even before the statue in Tirana was created, this was the first statue that there was already of Skanderbeg on top of a horse. So it's really, really important. And as you can see, you know, this town, it has some connection with Skanderbeg. I don't know exactly what it is, but we're gonna learn more about it as we start exploring the town of Kruje. But it's beautiful. You can see the weather is much nicer, although it looks pretty dark over there. And it's just an old, charming medieval town. But with these cobblestone streets, we're gonna keep on going up towards the main center of Kruje. All right, right behind me here is a mosque here. It's Murad Bey Kami. Now, if you watch my Turkey series, you know all the mosques end in Kami. And here, it's the same thing. There is a massive Turkish influence. In fact, if you look at the sign for this mosque, it actually has a Turkish flag on it. So I think it was built or renovated by the Turkish. I'm not really sure, but this is really interesting. I'm not gonna go inside. I'm wearing shorts after all today, so I don't feel like it's very respectful to Muslims to go inside right now. But I have filmed a little bit. It's beautiful. And this little wooden sort of walkway just around here is stunning that leads up to this mosque. I'm just finding this town really, really beautiful. It kind of reminds me of that old, charming style of Safran Bolu, this small, old mountain town. And it is really, really incredible. But we're gonna go ahead and keep walking around the city. is known as the Bazaar of Kruje. Now the Bazaar has been around since the 15th century. It's leading up always to the castle and it's been that way for like hundreds and hundreds of years. And you can tell like the cobblestone streets, the wooden sort of um, structure, it looks like an actual bazaar from I don't know how many hundreds of years ago, but it's absolutely stunning how it is. And and it's as you know, some people say it's a shark tank, you know, they're gonna be people who try to sell you everything. The vendors try to sell you rings and jewelry and clothes and magnets and everything. It's a little bit touristy in that sense, but still it's really, really incredible to to go around and sort of imagine as if you were here you know hundreds and hundreds of years ago with the Skanderbeg living in the castle or something and you walking through this traditional sort of market what's incredible is that they mentioned that this place has never been conquered by the turks no matter how hard the turks try to conquer um this this bazaar and this town so that is something that's very remarkable here as well in the town of Korea.
Well, we finally made it up to the top of the town. We're in front of the some museum thing. We'll explore that tomorrow, no worries. But this sunset, I need to quickly get the drone up because this is incredible. So let's get the drone up as soon as we can. And the evening prayers have just started, but let me show you these shots. Well, I think you can see from those drone shots, this is a pretty cool place. It's just incredible how beautiful this town is. The sun is just setting right behind me. I think you can see that it's beautiful, but I'll continue this video tomorrow morning when we wake up and it'll be sunrise and it'll just be absolutely beautiful in this town. But for now, good night and I will see you tomorrow morning. Good morning guys, it is the next day and welcome back to the beautiful town of Kruya. Now a couple updates about what happened in the night. First, we uh, invited ourselves to a little Balkan dance party. very fun a lot of the local people from Kruje were there a lot of the local townspeople dancing to traditional Balkan music it was an amazing experience and uh, we were just sort of uh invited ourselves to our party. Um, it was quite fun in fact and it was really welcoming. The people here welcomed us with open arms and that's the sort of experience you get here in the mountains of Albania. Look at the sky behind me. That color it's like blue and white. It looks like it were midday right? This is at like 5 30 in the morning <laughs> that's crazy at 5 30 in the morning it's this bright it's as if the sun had never risen this is just like midday but the weather is beautiful today we've got clear blue skies we've got beautiful white clouds it is absolutely amazing i've just got the drone up in the air for a little bit it is stunning i mean this place is actually beautiful but of course today we're gonna see the two main things that kruje has to offer the castle of kruje and the skanderbeg museum um, um, but of course, I think our hotel does have breakfast ready for us. So let me go ahead and show you guys what our deal for breakfast is today. Well, breakfast is served and we've got everything. We've got eggs, we've got tomatoes, pepper, bread, cucumber, olives, very traditional Albanian breakfast. And the crazy thing is at this place, we are the only guests. We are the only guests at this hotel. So usually they'd lay out the buffet and everybody would go and get their food. Here, they bring the food to us. <laughs> they bring the buffet to us because we're the only guests here. But we're gonna eat this up. It looks absolutely delicious. And we'll be on our way to explore the city of Kruja. Well, one thing's for sure, but just walking through the old bazaar today, there are tons and tons of groups of kids. I think, if I'm correct, they probably were on a field trip here to Kruje from the city of Tirana. So they probably came here just for a field trip. But all these little kids, they're so happy. They're so excited. They're not in school today. They have a fun day to explore Kruje, just like me. But uh, we're gonna keep going and head up to the top of the city. Well, we've made it up to the top of the town of Kruje and we are about to enter our first stop for the day. Can't wait, hopefully there's air conditioning because it is a hot day here in Albania. But welcome to the National Museum of Albania. But here, it's the Skanderbeg Museum. Let's see what's inside. Thank you. Well, we have made it to the top of the Skanderbeg Museum 
And we've been around here for, I think like what, almost an hour and a half now. And it's incredible. I mean, Skanderbeg is a really important figure in the history of Albania. He's actually the founder really of Albania because he helped to fight against the Ottoman invasion, brought together the Albanian people, sort of united them. And then, you know, fought for the independence and resistance against the Ottoman Empire. Um, these sort of medieval castles like Kruja, this is where he would stay, you know, this is where he would defend and fortify and he would have princes of Albania that would help him govern the country. But it's a really big memorial to, uh, to, to Skanderbeg and, and the contributions he made to this country. Interesting thing is that the flag of Albania with the double-headed eagle, that is the crest that he adopted when he finally became sort of the ruler of Albania but it's just amazing they have so many artifacts in there so many interesting things to see and so much information about Skanderbeg and the history of Albania and the Albanian people so I definitely want to understand more about the early history so you start with the 1400s especially that period when the Ottomans were trying to conquer different parts of the Balkans then this is a museum that you have to come to and it's in the castle. It's in the castle of Kruje, which is the coolest part. You're walking on the same place, on the same territory that, you know, Skanderbeg himself was probably walking or roaming around with his uh, with his horse. I mean, just behind me down here, you can see it's an archaeological site with uh, all the rocks and the, there's an old mosque down here as well. So this is within the castle walls and it's absolutely incredible. But we're now just going to leave the museum and I'll show you the next thing we have to see here in Kruje. Well, the final stop of our tour here in Kruje ends right behind me with that thing. This is the castle of Kruje. Now the castle of Kruje isn't really a castle anymore. It's just a bunch of ruins and rocks that are overlooking the entire city of Kruje, which you can see right behind me, but it is absolutely stunning. And even more stunning is the mountain range that goes right behind me in front of the castle it truly truly is beautiful and just to imagine that in you know hundreds of years ago medieval villagers would live in this town and you know, be trading and fighting against the ottomans that to me is incredible it is insane but anyways i hope you guys have enjoyed this video here in the town of kruje in albania this will be the last video from our albania series but definitely Stay tuned because we're going to have a lot more videos coming soon your way. But I absolutely love this country. Kruje is a town that might not really be on most people's destinations. They'd rather go on to the beaches and the coasts of Sarande. But it's a really beautiful place, especially if you want to understand the history of Albania and the sort of the medieval type of history. And Skanderbeg, who is Skanderbeg? Why is he important to Albania? This is where you would come to really learn about that. The town itself is gorgeous. Those cobblestone streets, the bazaars, the markets. It if you're looking for cheap and local souvenirs this is where you to where you should come for and the best part is Tirana is right there you can see Tirana from the town of Kruja so it's not even that far away it's less than an hour bus ride so very very convenient to come here um, from Tirana here in Albania but that's all I have for you guys today I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more food and travel videos and I'll see you guys on the next video bye guys